Golf Central on YouTube. Brought to you by Apex Irons from Callaway. Hello and welcome into Golf Central on YouTube. I'm Cara Banks. It's time now to check in with one of the headline names who are in the field at the Genesis Invitational this week, and that is Jordan Spieth, who is coming off back-to-back 54-hole -back leads on the PGA Tour that produced top five finishes in consecutive weeks for his first time since 2018. But it was another good round today. Three under par 68. Let's get his reaction. Yeah, so the idea was to hit a three wood over the left bunker into those trees. And I mean, for real. Yeah. And uh, you can get stymie to not have a shot. And if that's the case, you have to just kind of punch it forward. And then, but that angle is the best angle to be chipping into the green from. And uh, it was blowing pretty hard. So I knew I needed to kind of hook it in order to get it over that bunker. And so I went a little left to where I wanted, ended up in one of those spots that was not ideal because the palm tree happened to be right in the line I wanted to go, but um, ended up ended up uh, choosing to go to the left side of it and actually kind of almost cut it out of the rough from about 60 yards. And that shot was the shot of the day for me that, you know, that could have easily been a five and it, it turned out to be a three. And then just compared to the years you've played here, you've played here now a decent amount in terms of difficulty. Uh, you mentioned a few more 68s would could be pretty yeah. stout. Is this about as firm and, and dry as you've seen it? Yeah, I think it's about as firm and fast as I've seen the greens from Tuesday through Thursday. And then on the back nine today, as we started to kind of, the sun was kind of shining in on the greens as you're walking up, they started to get that kind of, that, that, that shininess and that almost like color change where, um, you had to really float the ball into the green if you wanted it to stop fast versus being able to kind of take more dead aim on Poana a lot of times. Um, I mean, that 15th hole, that's that second shot into there, unless you hit this high hook and land it five short, you have almost no chance of a short birdie putt So um, later this afternoon. So, uh, you know, and then 18, you know, I, I hit a wedge out of the fairway, and it, it went 12 yards after it landed. So those kind of shots you start to pay attention to, and, Fortunately, you know, I think tomorrow afternoon, you know, they try and make it the same as this afternoon, but being able to play in the morning could be an advantage tomorrow. We'll see. Yeah. Hey, Jordan, this recent run of success, what are, you, what are you taking out of that right now, even though, the you know, the final result hasn't been what you wanted? Yeah, I mean, the, the final result is, for me, is how does it feel? Um, did I make progress? It's not the position. I mean, I certainly wanted to win when I was in position last week with a couple shot lead and, and things feeling better than the week before, but um, in no way do am I sitting here saying, you know, it feels as good as it has in some of my best, most consistent years of ball striking, um, but it's working its way that way, and to be able to kind of play patient golf and um, and kind of pick spots and and trust these swings in, in situations where I've got some scar tissue as I roll around places from the years past. And um, I really like the progress that's being made. So I'm just trying to continue to, I'm trying to get better and better. I'm not looking at what I'm doing is right now as final um, as far as the last couple of weeks, you know, um, there's a next level that I, that I'm searching for. Can you just one last one for me? Can you just characterize you know what the battle has been like since you know since your last win, trying to find these things. And obviously, which now you're, they're starting to come back to you, um, but just the, the level of patience that it's taken for you, and and how much of a kind of inner battle that maybe is. Right? Sure, you it's know? you know it's kind of the first time in my life where I've you know had a, a significant dip in in success. You know, it kind of been you know a nice. Uh, you know, a nice, you know, up tick every single year. And, uh, you know, I, and so just kind of learning how to deal with that and, and doing it in such a, and having to do it in such a public way, you know, is very difficult. Um, can sometimes present even more challenges, but at the same time, you know, the idea is to get to the bottom of it, turn it around, make progress at each day and and um, recognize that, you know, that's that's the past and, and I can use it as, as having some scar tissue and use it to my advantage going forward. But ultimately, um, you know, I'm just in the same search that everybody else is that steps on the first tee, which is, you know, feeling in really good control of the golf ball and shooting low scores. And everybody's search for that is a different path. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm living mine right now. Just one year. I assume you feel a sense of momentum that's generated over the last little bit. Is, is that 
true or and are you a believer in momentum and has that been something you've been chasing you know just yeah let me get it going so i can yeah, yeah. I, I feel i feel some moments where i kind of hit the shot and i have that kind of step of confidence that i just you know it's kind of been missing um I'm gaining confidence. I, I think you, I can use the word momentum into just gaining confidence, gaining confidence in what I'm working on. And that kind of belief has me going to bed at night, wanting to go to work tomorrow and wanting to go out there and, and trust what I'm doing, whether, you know, pull it off or not, just to make progress. It gets me really excited about playing golf. And, you know, for me, that makes me happy. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I mean, it's nice to be going to bed, you know, wanting to do what you love to do and you get to go do it and uh, can't take that for granted. And, um, I'm glad to be on this side of it right now, and I do feel that there's momentum, positive momentum right now. But uh, if I get complacent, you know, that's the worst thing that could happen. So it's just about pushing through. Now's the time where I work harder than ever and, and continue to trust what I'm doing. Thanks. So Jordan continues to confirm that he'll work harder than ever before. Just off that first page of the leaderboard, but at three under par, he is just four off the lead through 18 holes. Someone who is. Uh, one step closer, Tyler McCumber, four under par 67 today, has him just three back of the lead after 18 holes, and it's quite incredible after what happened to him earlier this week. Did you just talk about what happened? Yeah. W with your finger. Oh, yeah. Um, Tuesday morning, I was coming out to the course, and I went to open the windows to cool off the hotel room before I left, and um, I smashed it in a sliding window uh, door right in the crevice. It went underneath the back of the nail bed and lifted half of the back of the nail up um the next day i came in uh, i slept on it it was pretty it was pretty torn up um but fortunately the surgeon on site the emergency surgeon is a hand specialist so he um dr mo Dabber, so he he gave me the option he said we can bandage it up obviously you can't play um because it's just too painful um or we can do a procedure where we just rip off the nail but half of the nail is still intact, so he he numbed the finger and, and ripped off the nail. And um, basically, I was able to kind of see if I could hit balls that next day, and and I was. I just cut my kind of altered my glove and kept this on all day and putted with it on. You, so you had the surgery Tuesday night, and you were hitting balls on Wednesday. Uh, I hit balls right after the surgery. Yeah. Oh, so the surgery was Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. No, it was Tuesday, and I hit like five balls on the range after. With What's my hand. the pain level now? Um. I mean, honestly, it's just gone numb. So, I mean, it hurt this morning a little bit, and um, it's a lot less with the, without the fingernail on there, but you can tell it's kind of just bleeding all the way through this bandage. But, yeah, I mean, Riviera will take your mind off the pain. <laughs> did you have to alter your grip at all? Um, at first I did, but not today. I just altered my glove, and then obviously I'm kind of fortunate that that finger is, the pressure is really only kind of right there on the back of your hand. So maybe not quite as forceful as I felt like I was, maybe a little lighter grip, but that might not be a bad thing. All that being said, are you surprised at all that you did what you did today on the golf course? I was surprised I could play, honestly. When I did it, I, I pretty much booked a flight back home and <laughs> changed it <laughs> once he ripped it off. So, um, honestly, I was just kind of, maybe there's some truth to that, going out and being just pretty fortunate to tee it up. Wow. Beware the injured golfer, they say, and very injured in the case of Tyler McCumber. What an incredible effort he put in today. Four birdies, bogey-free, four under par round of 67. Only two players to go bogey-free around Riviera Country Club today, which is always a big achievement as he seeks his first victory on the PGA Tour. But Sam Burns leads through 18 holes so far.